Hello, thank you for clicking on the link here to see how to play REM's Bandwagon. This one actually is based off the, uh, the Athens demo that they did before they headed over to England and recorded the Fables of Reconstruction album. Uh, this is on the Disc 2, that 25th anniversary uh, reissue of Fables of the Reconstruction. So I chose this one. It's kind of easy just to hear what the chords are. A lot of different ones. Um, the real version, the studio version, actually is found on Dead Letter Office. And in that one, uh, Peter Buck's throwing in a bunch of little licks. Um, makes it kind of hard to figure out what chords he's using. So I'm going to base the lesson off of the demo. And then you can take those chords and apply them to Peter Buck's little licks that he's doing. He's just basically, once he uh, throws those licks and he's just playing the same chords, basically up here on the neck here. So let's get right to it. Let's find out um, what chords, and that's really all it is, is chords and some picking for this bandwagon demo lesson. All right, so starts off, I'll just I'll go over the chords really quick, and then we'll play through it kind of slowly, real speed, so you can hear it. So it's going to start with a C chord. And then he's going to move over to an A7 to an F, to a B flat, A minor, B flat again, F, but then he adds that little pinky on there, uh, he's basically adding that on to the third string of the third fret, which I think makes that an F4, but don't quote me on that. I'm not super great with the guitar chord names once we get to the sevenths and the fourths. Um, I just kind of play by ear. So let's run through that again. So it's a C, believe an A7, which is basically your A chord with the third string open. So instead of playing that full A, it sounds like this. So start over C, A7 to an F to a B flat, to an A minor, B flat, F, and add on that pinky. So let's play that slow here so you can hear how it goes. So he does that twice, so the second time, do, do that again. The... Now, that second time he comes in that F, he starts picking it more. So it goes to the F, I'll call that the F4, with the added pinky, and then to a C. So F, F4, C. That that a little bit slower here so you can hear it. it's that F F4 C okay and then it's just a repeat of the chords that we just went over C A7 F B flat A minor B flat F now, when he gets to the bridge, that's a little different. So, the bridge chords, we go to G, E minor, A minor, D, G, E minor, A minor, D, F, G. So, let's play that slow so you can hear. I just threw a bunch of chords at you, so let's figure that one out. So it goes G, that E minor, A minor, D, G, E minor, A minor, D, F, and then it 
lines on that just kind of quick G. And then back to the chords. A7, F, B flat, A minor, B flat, F. And then once they run through that, then he just kind of holds that picking pattern at the very end. That and what he does is he ends on that C chord. That. So I threw a lot of chords at you. That's kind of the uh, the nature of the song. I believe Mr. Peter Buck at one point called this a fruity song just because of all the different chord changes. So if you need to, go ahead and pause it, rewind, scrub it backwards. But that's it. That is the lesson for bandwagon. That's all the chords. And then, like I said, you can take those chords and move it up to the Dead Letter Office version, and you can hear all the little licks that he's throwing in there. So it's kind of just playing up here, the... So, have fun with that. Thanks again for clicking. Love to hear any comments you guys have for me, any suggestions you have. It would be welcome. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.